Well, back to the usual. It's just starting to rain. Um, don't know what this is going to be for today. We are going to go up into Cavendish and uh, tour around there. I think there's a few lighthouses up that way too. Um, not going to be, be a big long day. I think um, we need some downtime. But if it's going to be kind of rainy, we should be out and about and sightsee and the best that we can. Uh, I did get a not as much a shade tent as much as a um, mosquito tent or bug tent or whatever they want to call them. What a difference last night cooking and not being eaten alive by mosquitoes. I have welts still all over and from these mosquitoes because they just go boom on you. And um, yeah, not fun. But anyways, um, first things first. We're going to go get coffee, gas up, maybe some breakfast. Hey, buddy, let's find a breakfast spot. I think there's a couple businesses down by the um, visitor center that maybe I can go in and grab breakfast. And we can have breakfast. So, yeah, so I'm emptying out my fridge and trying to get more and more emptied out so I can get a good cleaning on it. And who's kidding who? I like to go out and get my coffee. So. That being said, we're on the go. We, this is our last day on PEI. We leave tomorrow. The ferry is booked for 3.30 in the afternoon. So I can take a slow drive to the ferry area in the morning. And uh, just take our time and, and browse. As long as I'm there by 2.30, all's good. All right, stay tuned.
Good morning. So we are dealing with some rain, but that's okay, it's not too bad. But this is a lookout at French River on PEI. Talk about a cute, cute little community. Look at this. And they actually built this lookout area. It's been donated. Um, it, you cannot camp overnight, obviously. And it's been kept clean by the people that have stopped by to use it, which is good because I've seen too much of that as um, I've traveled along. Where they'll actually have garbage cans and they'll still throw their tissue. Um, yeah, look at that. Just, I can't believe how green everything is. And as I was driving today, seeing all the potatoes that are in bud and blooming. It's quite beautiful. And I know my camera can never capture it. So, let's get on. We just visited the... Um... Oh my gosh, how can I forget her name already? Lucy Maud Montgomery. Home. And we're off to Anne of Green Gables. Love the French, the front porches. museum arrived
Delete, of course. <laughs> KOA Borden. One possibility is Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport at Keyhole on Cuba P Street in Kailua Kona. Is that the one you're looking for? No. Oh, I think I'm tourist out. So we'll find something for dinner. Down to 24, that's great. Okay, well, we finished our day. Got done, got back to the campsite around two. And um, I didn't want a long day, so it was about a four hour day today. We did the touristy stuff today because it was rainy. I'm not gonna go down side roads and that when it's that wet, red, clay, sand. And I've been to the Cavendish Beach before too, so it's, I kind of wanted to go look where the teapot rocks were and no longer exist, but I don't know if I'd be able to see them. So we did the Lod, Lucy Maud Montgomery House. We did the Anna Green Gables Museum and the Ripley's Believe It or Not. So that's my touristy day today. And then came back and just getting things together here. Laundry, put the carrier back on the back of the van. Reshuffled a bit in the back of the van while I had access. And uh, yeah, getting ready for tomorrow. So we're heading off to the ferry tomorrow at Wood Island. It's about an hour and a half drive, straight go. But I'm gonna, I don't have to be there till 2.30. The ferry leaves at 3.30 and the ferry down 40 minutes before. So if I say 2.30, uh, all should be good. So we'll leave around 10, get my coffee on the road, that kind of stuff. And um, already picked up our water supply for the next couple days. And what else? Yeah, I'm just going to take our time getting off the island, no rush. And then get ready for the shop visit the day after. We have to be at the shop for 8 o'clock, so it's a half hour drive to get there from the campsite. So we should be up and going about, I want to leave by 7 because I want to be able to stop and get a coffee and take it with me to the shop because they're going to let me be there with Ziggy um, in the air conditioning waiting room. So uh, we will prepare for about a three hour stay. Hopefully it's not much longer but we'll, we'll find out if it is. This time I mean at the end they didn't know much you can do so I'm getting tire rotations done, I'm getting my brakes done. Um, air filter, wiper blades, check underneath for my, um, there's an intake hose that keeps coming loose, so I want them to 
check that in. The thing is my van, I can't crawl underneath and do any of this stuff, even if I did want to do it, uh, because it's so low. You just can't, I can't get underneath it, so. Uh, other than that, and then we're going to start our big tour of Nova Scotia. We've been kind of, we've done the Cape Breton and kind of just touched a bit on Nova Scotia, but then I zoomed over to PEI. Now we're going to go back to Nova Scotia and finish off Nova Scotia because man oh man, August is just around the corner and that is hard to believe. I left at the end of April and August is just around the corner. So I'm going to make the best of every day. I've got a find spots that are really nice to stop because I need to book in at least two rest days between here and the end. Um, just to enjoy some beaches and things like that as well. Um, I've been to Hamilton, yeah, not Hamilton. I've been to Halifax before. I've done the museum in Halifax, so I'm not going to do that one. It's a good museum too. And um, Alexander, uh, what do you call him? My beer, Keith's. Well, we had a Keith's beer. Did that tour. Did the wharf, fish and chips. And uh, what else? It's I think it's pet friendly too, so that'll be okay for Ziggy as well. But we'll figure out something to do and uh, find some spots to stay. I think Nova Scotia is a little bit more boondocking friendly. I'm not very good at finding my boondocking spots in time for my day so some of them are anyways folks stay tuned there's more to come and hopefully it gets better so i finally got a few moments to come out and take a look at this trail behind the koa as you can see there's some way down there there's where it approaches the highway. So this is part of the Confederation Trail. <laughs> 